I say this all the time, but if our country was doing amazingly well, if our country was doing amazingly well, my father wouldn't be running. I mean, we, we wouldn't be running. He would be with us in the family business. We'd be doing what we're doing. That's right. But you know what? Our country is being run by incompetent people. And, and by the way, incredibly, incredibly corrupt people. It is so, so sad. And guys, we're going to drain the swamp. He's going to drain the swamp. worth of debt. Think about it. It's gone up $11 trillion under our current president. We've got an educational system in this country that's ranked 30th in the world. Reading comprehension's 34th in the world. Math skills is 37th in the world. We have 95 million people, 95 million people out of the workforce in this country. We've lost 70,000 factories since Bill Clinton signed out. 70,000. Think about that. It is so, so sad. We've, we've lost, we've She's lost the right one in three idea. manufacturing jobs since Bill Clinton signed after. I just drove by the biggest floor plant. I mean, it's one of the biggest floor plants in the country, right? And this place is totally shuttered. There's not a single car in the parking lot. And these are the biggest parking lots you'll ever see. There's not a single car in the parking lot. And all those jobs left to go one foot over the southern border to Mexico. And it's so sad. We're losing our jobs. We're losing our industry. We're losing, we're losing everything. country we have 22 veterans who are taking their own lives to suicide because the VA is doing a terrible terrible job taking care of the bravest men and women that we have in this nation and it's going to change and it's going to change